Hello, my name is Ron and today I'm going to show you how to replace the front windshield wiper blade on this Peugeot 308. And make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video so you can watch the DIY ability score I gave for this simple project. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. This is what the driver's side wiper blade rubber insert looks like. It's not too bad and it's just starting to separate. Now if we go over to the other side, this wiper is actually the one that clears the sensor mount and on the windshield to tell the system when to stop wiping the windscreen. Now this is in really bad condition and that's why we need to get a new one fitted. We're now inside the car, so I can demonstrate to you how many times the current wiper has to wipe the windshield before it tells the system to stop. And uh, later on in this video, I'll do the exact same test and compare if there are any differences with the, uh, the new wiper blades after installing them. That's just done the second pass, now the third and the fourth. I'm not too concerned about the streaks that it creates on the windshield because I know that with the new wiper um, rubber inserts that it's gonna it's gonna be clear. Here's another view from the outside. So I've got the <coughs> automatic wiper um, turned on at the moment. So I'm just gonna spray water over the sensor to activate the wiper. Um, and in this uh, case, you can see the streaks. And I just want to run the test again while we're outside so you can see it in action. And from here, it's pretty obvious the wiper is not fully clearing that area. And that's probably the reason why it needs to run that extra pass. That was the last spray and I'm just going to count the number of passes again. This time it took six passes. Now that the nerdy part of this video is out of the way, I'll now demonstrate the steps you need to follow to replace your wiper blades. First, we need to put the wiper arm in half swipe position. To do this, turn the ignition key in the on then off position. Then activate the automatic wiper by pressing down on the right hand steering wheel stock. This will position the wiper to stop in the middle of the windscreen as shown here and allow you to pull the wiper arm back without it getting caught at the edge of the hood. Once you are done replacing the wiper, which I'll show you later in this video, press down the right hand steering wheel stock once again to put the wiper back into its normal position. We're now back in my garage and before we get started, let me just open the box and show you what's, um, what's in it. Um, this package just arrived um, just recently and uh, got it off eBay from that um, seller right there. So I'm just gonna uh, see what's what's in in the box. Um, it should have two wiper blades with different lengths. One's 65 cm, the other one's 75 cm. This is the first of the two, so you can see this is the 65 cm. This product comes with several types of connectors, so obviously this uh, product isn't uh, made specifically for uh, Peugeot 308, um, but the idea here is that one of these connectors should fit your car. And in my case, um, I did ask the uh, seller whether it's compatible with this 308, and they confirmed that it is, so I, I went ahead and purchased it. And looking at the product packaging, you can see it's compatible with Peugeot 308 model year 2012 and across it, it has an A4 designation. A4 corresponds to the instruction set that you can find on the other side of the box. So if you flip it over, you can see there's a section here designated as A4. And A4 because it's for the A clip and it just happens to be the fourth instruction in the set, I guess. And also if you look at the top of the instruction for the A-clip, you can see that it requires the use of the M base. Now that's a bit confusing there, so let's go right ahead and see what's in the box and um, look at all these different clips. First we have the B-clip, so this is what it looks like. Then this is the C-clip. And lastly the A-clip, which is what we need for this car. In the instruction, it's also specified that we'll be using the M uh, base, and this is what the M base looks like. These are all the clips that come in each box, so let's go right ahead and install this new wiper blade. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that the wiper blade is connected with the right base. 
Now if you look at the other one, it already has the M connector or the M base. So what we need to do next is to remove this clip and replace it with this M base. Now to remove it, what you need to remember is that this clip pivots on this side. So you have to grab it from the other end and pull it away from the wiper blade like this. Now to attach the M base, align the grooves as shown here. Slide it in, then press down on the other end to lock it in place. We now have both wiper blades with the correct base connector for our A-clip and this is what it should look like. The next step is to connect the A-clip on top of the M-base. What you need to remember when doing this step is to make sure that the arrow printed on the A-clip is running in the same direction as the arrow printed on the M-base. Align the two clips, then gently press down and you should hear it click. If the A clip can swivel at its center like this, we're now ready to use the new wiper blade. While the wiper arm is in the half swipe position, gently pull one arm away from the windshield. In this case, I've chosen to start with the driver side wiper arm. To remove the wiper blade from the arm, there's a locking clip where the arm meets the blade. Press on that with your fingernail on one hand, then pull the wiper blade away from the windshield with your other hand. This is the side-by-side -side shot of the old and the new wiper blade. Uh, this one right here is the old one. And this one right here is the new one. Notice how the new clip looks slightly longer than the old one. But I guess we'll see whether it's a good fit once we connect it back to the wiper arm. We're now ready to install this back into the car. To do that is really simple. Just align the groove on the wiper arm pointed out by that arrow with the indentation on the side of the clip. Once both sides are aligned, gently push it in until you hear it click in place. Do the same procedure for the other wiper arm. As it turns out, the A-clip is fully hidden underneath the wiper arm connector, so I'm pretty happy with that. And finally, return the wiper arm back in its normal position by pressing the steering wheel stock as shown earlier in the video. We are back outside once again to test if the new wiper blade improved the operation of the automatic windshield wiping system of the car. I've already activated the automatic wiper, so I'm just going to simulate rain with this spray bottle. That is a pretty good result. It only did one pass this time compared to up to six passes when we were using the damaged wiper rubber insert. So I'm just going to do a few more sprays to confirm that it's not a fluke. Um, you'll also notice there's hardly any streaks on the windshield now. And now I'm going to give this simple project a DIY ability score. This is the part where I rate the work I've done by judging it across 5 categories. Each category gets a score from 1 to 10, and so the maximum score any of my DIY project can get is 50. Starting with affordability, there are several ways you can fix a worn out wiper, and probably the most cost effective way is just to replace the wiper rubber insert. You can get a pair of rubber refills from your local auto parts store for maybe $20 or less but removing the existing rubber and fitting the new one is a bit tricky for me. Or on the other side of the spectrum, you can get a mechanic do it for you and they'll probably charge you some, somewhere upwards of $200 for parts and labor. But what I went for was to get a new uh, pair of wiper blade altogether for uh, $50 off eBay. So based on that price spread, this project gets an affordability score of nine out of 10. Moving on to the quality category, Overall, the quality of the material they use for the wiper blade is very good. It's comparable to the original wipers, so I'm very pleased with that. Then we go to the rubber inserts. When you touch it, the texture feels like the original and it even has the same profile. But I noticed that the central rib seems slightly thinner, so it might affect its durability. So I'm giving it a score of 8 out of 10 for quality. I'm very satisfied with the output of this project. It was a very straightforward process, so you really couldn't go wrong with it. I think I could have gotten the air wiper blades for about the same price, and that's why I'm taking a point off this category. So I'm giving this project a 9 out of 10 for satisfaction. With regards to fit and finish, the new wiper blade does not look exactly the same as the OEM wiper blade, and you'll notice that the tab that locks the wiper blade to the wiper arm slightly sticks out. It also has those extra bits that extend to the front of the lock because it needs to accommodate the other clips. 
So I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 in this category. And finally, fun factor. This is not the most fun project out there and there's hardly anything in it. But I do like that now the car just need one swipe instead of six to clear the windshield. Plus, I also learned how to put the wiper in half swipe position, but that's about it. So I'm giving this project a 7 out of 10. And that gives this DIY project a raw score 41, which puts it in second place on my DIY ability scoreboard. And that's everything I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And finally, consider subscribing to this channel and hit that notification icon so you don't miss any of my updates.